Elizabeth, what do you and Katerina say to each other when the whole thing is over? <laughs> Just lots of hugs. <laughs> Not too much. Did either of you, when you were skating the program, for one minute think this is the last program of my life in competition? I thought this when I went to my warming up on the ice and I thought about this when I thought my program, just the whole program. I said to myself, try to do your best. This is your last program. Try to feel the music and the audience because this is the last time in a competition. You certainly did. Both of you um, are excellent free skaters and always you had to come up to the gold medal after the figures. Will you be sorry that the figures are over or very happy that uh, the figures are over? I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, so am I. Well, it just, it takes a lot of hours out of the days and uh, it'll be nice to have a little bit of spare time now <laughs> for ourselves. It'll take a little while though to realize that the competition is over, yeah, I would think. But do you also realize that although you have worked so hard as amateurs, that the real work will probably begin now that you will change and become professional? I think the change, uh, the life will change because now what, now what is coming is so different than what we did here. But there were 17 years of my life I did this sport. I did figure skating and so it's hard for me to say goodbye. But you're not really saying goodbye. Well, it's I'm not really saying goodbye. I'm coming for exhibition or for some shows, but this is different. This is really a different world. Life is changing now. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if there was something, because many, many skaters will be watching, and you both have had very brilliant careers, what is the secret for the amateur competitor? What is it that you can tell them? I think my secret is that I really love skating and I really love to be on the ice, to skate to the music, to express the music and this was my secret for the days when it was very hard to train. For instance, in the summertime everybody was packing and went away for swimming or <laughs> went out for dancing and I was standing on the ice and I think this was my secret that I really loved this. What was yours, Liz? Mine for the past year was not to do it for other people but to do it for myself and to work from the feet up and not so much from the head. And I think if you go out and you enjoy yourself and you don't let the nerves get to you and to control the nerves, you think of your feet. And I'll, go ahead. I'm sorry, Ted. With um, both of your careers, one very important thing is your teacher. How important is having the right teacher for achieving a gold medal or a silver medal? I think this is the most important thing. What you need is the teacher first because she takes you when you're very young and she, uh, I don't know she how to, yeah, she, she develops you. She develops you. She brings yeah. you through good, bad yeah, times yeah, and everything. And, many years. and certainly it would appear that with your teacher, because you've been with her for so long, she's more than a teacher. Yeah, sometimes she's like a mother for me. Uh -huh. I can ask her any question what I want, and so she answers me all the time. So she helps me in, in all different situations in life. Katarina, something that we haven't seen you do too much, you were very, very emotional when you were talking on the German television. Mm -hmm. That's because it's the end? And I noticed it too when they were playing the German anthem, the same thing happened. That's when it hit you, I would, would imagine, when you're standing on that podium for the last time? Yeah. That's why, because I knew this is the last time, just standing on the podium, and so it's hard. <laughs>